Some of y'all have asked for it, so here it is. This is going to be my review on my 2014 Ninja 300 ABS model. So yeah, durability, reliability, power, um, pretty much everything I'm just going to mention about the bike. Except for the fact that uh, it did get hit in a parking lot. I know, it sucks. But I had a big plus to that because uh, with all that insurance money, I freaking dumped a bunch of money into this bike. Probably shouldn't have done it, but that's all right. Why did I buy the bike? They actually didn't even have the R3, the RC, or actually they had the RC90. Um, and they didn't have the CBR300 at the time. They just had uh, this and then like a bunch of 250s, so... I wanted something with a little more power. I came from a 250 up to a 300 just because insurance was, like, ridiculous. But I finally found a loophole or whatever, so I switched up to a 600. So I got this and a 600cc, a ZX6R. Yeah, my license plate is missing because the plates are expired. Probably shouldn't be driving around right now, but that's okay. And uh, I'm actually going to pull out my camera just so you guys can get a little bit of a close-up. She's a little dirty. Sorry. What miles do I have? I'll be specific, I guess. 10,059. So, ready for an oil change right now. So, I'm actually going to do an oil change sometime this week before I ride it again. Um, I live next to the lake, obviously. So, there's a bunch of bugs. So, like I said, I got the uh, tailor-made rim tape. Super reflective if a light hits that. Um, ABS model. Here's the header grill. It's uh, by RNG, and then a fancy little radiator grill. I also did a bunch of uh, LED lights, glowing kit along this whole bike, so at night it freaking lights up like a Christmas tree. It's also got some demon eyes by BK Moto, and CCFL eyes, and then um, it's also got HIDs and demon eyes. I don't know if I just said that, but whatever. Um, integrated turn signals, super awesome, love it. Zero gravity windscreen, got uh, these aftermarket shorty lovers. Uh, I gotta finish the kit with the uh, BK motos, but that's those are gonna go in the fairings. I did have a ram stem mount on this. You can take this middle bolt out and uh, replace it with a different one and then put a stem mount in it, but I took it out because I wanted, uh, I wanted to put it on the ZX. Aftermarket, little bars right there, or uh, mirrors. This I'd probably take off. It's a, a stupid sticker, basically. This is the only damage um, from when the... Oh, I mean, after I fixed everything, this is the only damage that's on the bike, is that little nick and that little nick. And then the kickstand's bent. Uh, I got uh, frame sliders, super nice, that actually protected my bike when the lady hit it over, so that's freaking nice, and then this, this thing is freaking beautiful, it's a quick shifter, if you don't know what that is, uh, I'll just say that you can do full throttle, clutchers, upshifts, and just bang through them gears, baby, I got these aftermarket blinker thingamajiggers, they got like a blue light in the back, and then uh, a regular LED light in the front, or vice versa, or whatever. Uh, I also got rear spools. Those things look pretty sweet. Sorry, exhaust. Thing sounds freaking amazing. Sounds deep. Trust me, <laughs> sounds way deep. Uh, I also put a, a K&N air filter. I've got full synthetic rice oil in there. And a uh, rear seat cowl. Thing looks really sweet. Really adds to the bike compared to the just the regular seat. In my opinion, check out that that Kawasaki love. You feel me? Ah, uh, Kawasaki Ninja. Um, I might sell shirts like this, but I don't know if it's quite illegal because it's not really my logo. So I've had this bike for just about a year. Yeah, I know. Put ten thousand miles on it, and within one year, that this is a beginner bike. Um, you can definitely grow into this from when you're a beginner to like where I am now. I've gained a lot of experience from just like, just riding it, daily commuting, and then even in the can, I got canyons everywhere. I mean, we got Provo Canyon, we got AF Canyon, a little big, or Big Cottonwood Canyon, um, 
Spanish Fork Canyon. I've got tons of canyons around here, which is amazing. So, riding in the canyon is amazing. I definitely gotta get some stickier tires. If I'm gonna keep it, I still don't know. Here, I could give you a little start up and I'll go ahead and rev it, actually. That's what I'll do. So, yeah, it's definitely loud. Sheesh, I, I gotta think of something. I've definitely done more to this bike. I can't think of it, but... So, what I don't like about the bike... Uh, I'm not gonna mention power. Because that's just... It's a 300cc bike. And I'm not saying it's like, it's useless, it's nothing. It handles on the freeway just fine. It gets up to speed just fine. I think a 0-60 to 60 time. At least with this bike, with, with what I've done to it, can get it like five seconds. This is probably a big complaint of mine is first gear is just useless. And that's with any like lower CC bike. Normally if I'm gonna get into a turn, like I'm at a stoplight and I'm turning left, or turning, yeah, turning left, um, I'd have to hurry up and switch in a second and then I can go in through the, the turn nice and smoothly. Whereas, you know, my ZX, I can be in first gear and stay in first gear for another 15 minutes if I wanted to. Yeah, first gear, but you can remedy that. You can get a, a 15-2 sprocket in the front, which would definitely help. And then another thing is the, the steering is so stinking light. Like, I mean, it's just, you can't do that on a 600 bike, right? At least the ones I've ridden. Quick shifter. So look, no clutch. I'm in like fourth gear now. So it's definitely a revy little bike. I love it. Third gear is my favorite. I love third gear. It pulls really good. It pulls the best out of all the other gears. And then the seating position, I like a more aggressive seating position. You definitely sit inside the bike, if that makes sense. But it is upright, it's it, extremely comfortable, extremely comfortable. I, I've ridden this for hours and hours and hours on, on end, and I mean, I've gone from that, that mountain freaking cleared all the way to the mountains you can't even see. Like, I ride this bike a ton. And then, I don't know, it, the steering is just so weak, like, it's just, not weak, it's just really sensitive. So for me, when I'm in a corner, it, it likes to wallow just a little bit. So a steering dampener would definitely help with that. And I'm sure that would like fix the problem. So that, that's my only complaint about the bike. It's been absolutely phenomenal as far as reliability goes. I haven't had a single freaking problem with this bike. Even after, even after it's freaking been hit by a car in a parking lot. I mean, I, I'm making that sound really bad. It's not as bad as it sounds. Wow, that water's getting low. Oh my gosh. You can see the freaking mud right there. What the? Oh, this is what's nice. Look at that. Look at this U-turn action. Look at that. I could freaking go in a whole nother circle if I wanted to. I love that about this bike. You could just flip a biz at anywhere. This bike is awesome. I'm just giving you a little view, something to look at instead of just me blabbing my mouth around. Because the newer bikes are just so reliable, you know? I'm pretty sure if I put some like Diablo courses on this bike, the sticky tires, super sticky tires, I'd just fall all in love again with this bike. It is definitely inspiring though. This bike is just phenomenal. And as far as like starting on a bike, I would just highly recommend this. If you've never done biking before, obviously. Putting all these goodies on my bike, it makes it so much cooler. Like if I ever go to a bike meetup, I have so many people asking me, oh, is that a 600? Is that the new 636? I get a ton of compliments on this bike, no doubt about it. The reason I want to sell it is because maintenance on two bikes is just... It's just too money. It's too much money for me. It's way too much. And then the suspension. Um, a lot of people on the forums definitely talk about upgrading suspension on this bike. 
if you're just commuting you know and you go to the canyon every now and then you don't need to worry about it you'll be fine it's pretty stiff it's pretty dull with the suspension if you're you know going crazy in the canyons and just like how any other 300 cc bike is because it's a 300 cc bike so it's cheaper and they don't put as much like expensive parts into the bike if you're looking at bikes if you're looking to get into a bike or if you're in the UK and you're you're riding like a 125 and you finally got your permit to get up to a bigger bike ride this bike man go test ride it and then you know just see how you feel on it the clutch is butter smooth oh my gosh do I love the clutch it's like I love the clutch I love how easy it is I can freaking one finger that that thing just like freaking you know you see that just like that I mean if you're more if you're like really curious about this bike I have a tons of videos on like me racing other cars uh, going on the freeway uh, canyon carving I, just a ton mods I, I even did a bunch of installments on this bike and recorded it you're welcome oh and then the brakes actually that's another thing they're not bad plus I have the ABS so it's a little more comforting so it's hard to see because it's like daytime but at but at night oh my gosh this thing like this is like a magnet and everyone's eyeballs are just G -g 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 -g. everybody 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 looks at the bike it's freaking glowing it's got reflective rim tape the glowing eyes so the left one works but the one on the right doesn't I don't know why So, I freaking love this bike, guys.